Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, on our prayer request, Teresa Wood's cousin Tiffany and her 12-year-old son Aiden were killed in a car wreck on Sunday. Pray for her and the family. Jackie Howard is seeing a cardiologist Tuesday for a follow-up. She's been scheduled for weight loss surgery in August. Pray her appointment went well. Andrew needs prayer for focus. Pray for Lisa and Jim Slants. He needs hernia surgery and she's having issues with her heart. Colleen's daughter, Caitlin, is doing better but needs continued prayers. Kim's heart checkup went well. No problems with her transplant heart. Everything looked real good. Amen. And Tweets is having ringing in her ears and vertigo spells. Pray they stop. And that ringing, I've had that ringing for probably 10 years now. And it just drives you crazy. I mean, it really does. Sometimes it's louder than others. And when it is, it just really just bothers you bad. Not much can be done about them from what I've learned uh, about the tinnitus. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from Acts 9, 36 through 42. In Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha. In Greek, her name is Dorcas. She was always doing good and helping the poor. <clears throat> About that time, she became sick and died, and her body was washed and placed in an upstairs room. Lida was near Joppa, so when the disciples heard that Peter was in Lida, they sent two men to him and urged him, Please come at once. Peter went with them, and when he arrived, he was taken upstairs to the room. All the widows stood, uh, stood around him, crying and showing him the robes and other clo clothing that Dorcas had made while she was still with them. Peter sent them all out of the room, and then he got down on his knees and prayed. Turning towards the dead woman, he said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He took her by the hand and helped her to her feet. Then he called for the believers, especially the widows, and presented her to them alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many people believed in the Lord. Amen. Okay. Our devotion today is entitled, Legacy of Kindness. Martha served as a teacher's aide at an elementary school for over 30 years. Every year, she saved money to buy new coats, scarves, and gloves for students in need. After she lost her fight with leukemia, we held a celebration of life service. In lieu of flowers, people donated hundreds of brand new winter coats to the students she loved and served for decades. Many people shared stories about the countless ways Martha encouraged others with kind words and thoughtful deeds. Her fellow teachers honored her memory with an annual coat drive for three years after her life ended on this side of eternity. The le her legacy of kindness still inspires others to generously serve those in need. In Acts 9, the Apostle Luke shares a story about Dorcas, a woman who was always doing good and helping the poor. After she got sick and died, the grieving community urged Peter to visit. All the widows showed Peter's, Peter how Dorcas had lived to serve. In a miraculous act of compassion, Peter brought Dorcas back to life. The news of Dorcas' resurrection spread, and many people believed in the Lord. But it was Dorcas's commitment to serving others in practical ways that touched the hearts in her community and revealed the power of loving generosity. How can you love someone with your kind words and deeds today? How has God used someone else's kindness to draw you closer to Him? Loving God, please help me to love others in practical ways each day so I can leave a legacy of kindness that points others straight to you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. 
and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning devotion. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great morning. And I'll see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye everyone and God bless.